Yeah, I mean, right now our infrastructure is, is 4 gig fiber, and uh, the the sort of benchmark for us is a 2K film scan. That's kind of the highest resolution media we need to work with at the moment. A 2K uh, image sequence, an uncompressed 2K scan, is about 300 megabytes per second of bandwidth required. And at any given time, we'll have maybe four or five or six students who need to access um, a 2K stream from the SAN, so our SAN has to be able to, to support six to eight streams of 2K. And over any one link, we need to do about 300 megabytes per second. Well, the industry is very much moving towards 4K, and 4K is four times the amount of data throughput than 2K. So to be able to support that with the same amount of workload that we have now, we basically have to quadruple our bandwidth. So we need to move from 4 gig to 16 gig fiber uh, in the very near future to be able to support that. Um, 16 gig fiber will let us work with now 4K images in real time as opposed to 2K images. Right, so right now when we work with a 2K um, image sequence, we can play that back and work with it in real time. If we were to uh, do a 4K finish on a film, it would be four times slower than that. Instead of scanning at 24 frames a second, then we can only scan at six frames per second. Instead of playing back in real time, 24 frames a second, it would play back at six frames per second, for instance. So everything slows down a lot. And that gets in the way of the creative process of filmmaking. So to get around that, what you need is to have a much faster infrastructure. And for 4K, we would need 16 gigabit fiber to be able to now play back 4K images and work with them in real time like we do now at 2K, which is very much the, the, the future of the, the industry is 4K right now. Yeah, with, with 4 gig fiber right now, there's no way to work with 4K images in real time. And uh, so a 2K film finish is basically what you're limited to. With, with 16 gig fiber, 4K becomes a real possibility. You can now work with 4K images and, and finish a film in real time in 4K. Um, where that's not possible right now with just 4 gig fiber. Um, well, something else, right now to work with, to do a 4K film finish, for example, a lot of people will do, use proxies through most of their workflow. Well, they'll, they'll have their master files at 4K, then they'll generate 2K proxies of everything to do all the work. And then at the end of the process, once they're done doing all the real-time stuff, then they'll let things render out much slower than real time from the 4K media. That's kind of the only way to work with 4K right now. Rendering time when you're working with 4K, um, there's no there's there's no one specific benchmark. I you know I would have every software is different, every piece of you know hardware is different. But um, I would the the closest the closest thing I could probably mention is is the speed at which we can scan at. At 2K, it's real time. At 4K, it's six frames per second. That's four times as slow as 24 frames per second. So for every hour, for every hour of film we scan at 2K, it takes one hour to scan the film. If we were to scan at 4K, it would take four hours to scan that one hour of film. It's a four to one ratio. Um, with 16 gig fiber, that would be real time again, and all of a sudden you're saving four hours for every one hour.